Gatsby is a site generator for React, which will data from different sources depending on how you configure it. And as this schema shows that you can get data from different sources, like content management systems, WordPress, Drupal, or Contentful, markdowns, like in our example, when we use empty files to create a blog post, or some other data sources like APIs, databases, JSON, or whatever. GraphQL is the query language responsible for pulling this data from the sources into your Gatsby site. And to have an idea of what GraphQL is about, let's just visit the graphql.org website. So what do we have here is describe your data, ask for what you want, and get predictable results, which summarize that GraphQL is a syntax that describes how to ask for data. If we scroll down a little bit, we have here an example of a query asking for the name, height, and mass of a hero, and we have also the result here. Okay, the question is, why using this query language is super important for us when we are using Gatsby? The short answer is because it is the language responsible for showing data in our blog. To get an idea on the query responsible of showing this data, let's just go to the CFC folder, pages folder, and index.js. At the bottom of this file, we have a query here. This is a GraphQL query, and to tweak it a little bit, for example, if you want this date to start with the day, then the month, and I'll just get here into this formatted part of the query, I'll just copy that and put it after DD. The result now is day, month, and year, instead of month, day, and year. You can get the result for the specific query from an in-browser IDE that has a name GraphIQL. This tool will allow us exploring GraphQL queries and fetching for data. So after you run Gatsby Develop, you will be able to access to this in-browser IDE from this URL. Click on the link to open the IDE and put the browser on full screen. And voila, the GraphQL in-browser IDE is working. We have three parts. The first one is where the queries are listed. There are multiple ones. And here, we will write down the query and here we will get the result. Let's move to the index.js to copy the query. Copy this part, which is the query content. And let's just move that into this part when you have to write the query. Let's just pass that. Hit this button to get the results from the query. Okay. And this is the result. We have given here the content of each article. So we have the title, description, and date for each article. This is my second pass new beginning and hello world and for example if i just want to exclude this date and description and hit play again so you'll see that i'm only having the title title and title and date and description are excluded you can exclude the other part here hit play again and you will get the information you are interested with if we hover over this button you will see that you can type control and enter to execute the query. If I just remove this element here and hit control enter, I will get the result. You can also use for Mac users command and enter. If for example, I want to change the order of this result from descending to ascending, let's just update the value of order from this value to this value. Hit command enter again, the result will change. Okay, I can copy this value, put it inside the query on my index.js file. And as you see, I have hello world as the first article. You can keep testing the queries from the graph IQL and implementing them inside index.js to get the result that you want.